Welcome to Underwater Math. Let's learn about unit fractions. I'm Ms. Ali, and I'm going to help you learn about unit fractions. First, look at these fractions. What do they have in common? I notice they all have one as the numerator. That's right, Daphne. Unit fractions always have a numerator of one, because they represent one part of the whole. Each of these fraction models shows a unit fraction. They have equal parts and are representing one piece. This is Adam, and he is going to share a couple more important details about unit fractions. Make sure you are paying attention. Thank you, Ms. Ali. Let's look at these three models. They each have one piece shaded in, but they are not fractions. Fractions require equal pieces of the whole, and a unit fraction shows one equal piece. Try it out. Which one of these models shows a unit fraction? That's right, the green model shows a unit fraction, because it is split into equal parts, and one part is shaded in. The purple model is not cut into equal parts, and the brown model has more than one piece shaded in. This unit fraction is 1 sixth. It has six equal parts to make the whole. This is the fraction's denominator. The model has one piece shaded in, which is the numerator. Remember, a unit fraction requires the numerator to be 1. How did they do? Swimmingly. Great job everybody. You too Daphne. Thank you for your help. Have fun practicing.